Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn and the awesome Discovery Update. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue upgrading the base and progressing in the game. We've got a lot of stuff to do oh, today. Dropping. All right, so uh, let's see here. Let's go on out here. I'm uh, really starting to have a space problem, but we're really at the point where we can start making... Um, uh, start making the, the larger storage, the depositories. But uh, So we'll see if we can get that today, but we got a lot of stuff to do. So uh, as you can see over here, I have finished... Uh, well, I haven't finished, but I've almost finished building the walls and the, ha and the ceiling for the habitat. So we've got a couple of spots here that we're going to patch up with couplers for now because I haven't decided for sure uh, what I'm going to put where. I wanted to put the... Uh, I wanted to put the biodome out here, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but the problem is that there's a rock clipping into it, and that might prevent me later on from putting, you know, one of our, our garden bins down, our planter kind of thing of Uh So what we'll probably end up doing instead is destroying this biodome, or e either that or just leaving it and running a barracks uh, maybe off the back of there or something. I, I Again, I haven't really decided yet. I'm still trying to think about it. Uh, but we don't need to make that decision today anyways. What, what we need to do today is finish the habitat. And so that's really our, our main goal. Uh, and so, again, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to put a coupler in both of these spots um, until I make that decision, okay? And we also need to build an airlock, too. So we're going to do both of those things first before we do anything else. Um, no, that's not true. We were going to do the, the forge upgrade. So I had to go out and get stuff to make talonite, which I did. Um, so here, here's a... Here's here's a pro tip for you guys, okay? See how these crabs are hassling? Now, I could go out there and I could kill them, of course. Um, and I probably should because I'm getting really low on meat. But let's say that, um, you know, the crabs are just being a pain in the ass with the monsters and I just want them to go away for now. So if you go into your hut or even just, you know, into your habitat or anywhere where you can hide, if you duck down, hold still, make sure you turn your light off because they can see that. And just wait a couple of seconds. Uh, watch the red eyeball in the lower left-hand corner. As soon as that turns white, the crabs have now lost track of you. Just wait a few moments longer and they'll wander off. Uh, so that's, you know, that's a nice little tip. If you just want to get rid of them, but you don't want to go out and fight them and mess around with them. Most of the time, I'll just go out and fight them. But sometimes it's like, you know what? I don't want to hassle with you guys right now. Just get the hell out of here. So, you know, it takes about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds for that to happen. Of course, you know, then they're going to wander around and do whatever they want and they might come back. But see, that crab can't see me right now. Uh, but if he sticks really close to the base, as soon as I move, he's going to come back. So let's just wait a little bit longer. And if he, if he continues to be a hassle, we'll just go kill him. Let's give him a chance to to bugger off a little bit. Let's give the bug a chance to bugger off. He doesn't look like he wants to bugger off. You know what? We don't have time for this, Mr. Krabs. We just plain don't have time for this. So we're going to get into third person, and we're just going to do a smack down here. A scythe down, actually, is more accurate. Did this other one hear us too? Oh, you know what else oh, we're going to try and do in this episode if we can. I can't promise it, but we're going to try and get the rover running too. Uh, so I just got a ton of things planned. So, all right. I don't know where that other crab went. He's gone. That's fine with me. Uh, let's do take a moment and just get the meat off this guy really quick. Because like I said, I, 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 need, uh, I need more meat. We're getting low. Once we can get the biodome up and running, though, and, you know, making the good food, you know, then we're going to be in business with food. But we're not quite there yet, so we still have to rely upon just the basic, you know, grilled meat, that sort of thing. Miss me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay. So let's go finish up this one first. I've got tons of bandages. I've just been doing a lot of looting and stuff, too. I mean, I got so much stuff, it's like, you know, we either need to start making the bigger bins or I need to make more of the small ones, and I'd rather just start making the bigger ones because we need to do that eventually anyways. Okay, we got a, a leg there, and did we get everything off of you? You're not sinking into the ground, so we missed something somewhere. Hmm, what did we miss? I thought we got his head. Maybe we didn't get his head and I just thought we did. Okay, well, whatever. Whatevs. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, first order business is to make some couplers. So, let's go back up here. Get our wrench out and take a look and see 
what we need for couplers. So we basically need all of that stuff. And, oh, looks like I already have it in my inventory because I was working on it right before I started the, um, uh, started the video. Okay, so click the uh, wrench, hold down the F key. And then let's do the same thing over here. Select the coupler, click the wrench, hold down the F key. And it's a done deal. All right, now, once you have a coupler in place, um, you can go up to it and you can, let's see, where is it at? There's supposed to be a way that we can open this. Oh, did they change that? Uh, do we have to have the wrench out? Oh, yeah, you have to have the wrench out. Okay, so if I press G, it removes the cap. So you can actually use this as a doorway if you want to. And then if we can all put the cap back on by, again, pressing G. But you have to have your wrench or your multi-tool in hand. Okay, cool. So it is, uh, I think we're sealed in here now uh, because the wind noise has gone away. So we're going to do an airlock. Um, well, do we need to do an airlock, actually? Let's try something here. Uh, if we go to appliances... Can we just put a store? Oh, we can. Okay, so if we wanted to, you guys, if we wanted to, we could um, not do an airlock. I mean, the airlock is is kind of cool, but it is a little bit of a hassle because you have to wait for it, for it to pressurize before you, it'll let you in. The, al the alternative is we just have to jetpack up here every time we want to go into our habitat. To be very honest with you, that that would be more convenient. But no, nah, you know what? This is a tutorial as well as a let's play. So let's just do it. Let, let's make the airlock. Let, let's just do it right, okay? Um, and you know, maybe I'll I'll move it later on or something. We'll see. So uh, we're going to go to F2. We're going to go to structures, and we're going to select airlock, and we're going to see what we need. So we need a computer screen and some electrum. I might have already made that before I started the video. I cannot remember. So, yeah, we got a computer screen there. Do we have some Electrum in here? Look at that. Look at that, man. Old guy is well prepared today. Let's go into settings, turn off the bloom, and let's make ourselves an airlock. So we're going to press F2. We're going to go to structures, and we're going to select the airlock, and it's going to pop in place. Now, one thing that's going to kind of suck, but this is a temporary problem, is that the ramp's going to go, well, here, let's just put it in place. So we're going to press F to confirm and hold F down to build it all the way. And now, yeah, see, this is not not ideal. Um, so eventually these stone walls and all this is going to go away and we're going to have a big force field and electrodome. But for the time being, we can do one of two things. I can either reposition the stone walls um, or we can just do this. <laughs> um, hmm... There is a third option, but it's going to cost us some material. Nah, I don't like the third option. Third option is to put a coupler here and bring the air, uh, the airlock out this way, but that's not a good idea because we'd have to take this back down. We'd lose some materials. We'd have to take this back down and we'd lose some materials. And I just don't want to do that. So I think the practical thing to do here is to, is to move the stone walls. But I actually had to chuck my stone because I was running out of space so bad. So let's just go get some more stone. Won't take us too long to do that. We just need to find some rock outcroppings. That's gold. There's a few rock outcroppings over this way, if they're still there. One thing I don't think I told you guys. If you play the game on the normal settings, mineral nodes do not respawn. However, if you want them to respawn, uh, you can go into those custom settings and uh, tell the game to, to respawn them. But on a normal settings, once you mine it, it's gone. Um, I, yeah, I guess I must have mined all the outcroppings that were over here. So let's go take a look-see over here. There's some iron there. Yeah, I didn't think that ramp was going to go that far out, but apparently it does. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? We got... That's all iron nodes there. I think there's a bunch of outcroppings kind of back over this way, if I remember correctly. We can also just pick some stones up too. We only need four per wall, but it might it might take us um, a couple of walls to do what we need to do. 
Okay, here we go. Here's some rock outcroppings. Okay, how many stone do we have now? We have 13. Yeah, I, I wanted at least 12, so we should be good. Okay, did we get Mr. Krabs' attention? Nope. All right. Well, there is a Mr. Krabs over by the base there. We're probably just going to kill him because I don't want to mess with him right now. You dead. Okay, so let's grab our wrench. And what we're going to do is we're going to dismantle these two walls. Okay. And we're going to have to go into F2 to, uh, to defenses. And let's take a look and see what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to put this here. And then we're going to rotate this guy like so. Let's see, where's our stuff? Yeah, we probably better go this way. Well, hold on a sec. I want to sort of kind of line it up. This is, again, this is all really temporary, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, let's hold down shift and just kind of right click and turn it so it's pointing that direction. There we go. And then this one, same thing. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put it right there. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up because nothing is going to be able to get through there. If this was going to be a permanent situation, I would be more careful to line it up so it looked nicer. But right now, I don't care. I just don't care. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now we can actually walk up here and get up into our airlock. Next thing we have to do is we need to uh, build the airlock wall. So we need Zamok... Uh, Derlumen and plastic, and we're going to need a total of six sets of that. So, 12 Zamok, six Derlumen, six plastic. Okay, copper's going to screw us up on this one, guys. Uh, we can only make two Zamok. Um, so, I'm going to have to go get copper. The problem with getting copper is, well, you know, there, there's a, a smaller copper deposit or cluster, I guess you would say, over in the, the fungal thicket, which is just kind of to the west of us. And then there's a really large one in the northwest, but just about as far away from here as you can get. I was kind of waiting till we got our our hover vessel to go there, and I, I think, or not our hover vessel, I'm sorry, our rover. I think we'll, we'll still, we still will wait to get the stuff in the northwest, but we probably can get enough from the fungal thicket to do what we need to do today. So let's go here. We gotta eat. Yeah, we're getting low on food. We have one piece of meat left. Do I have extra meat in here? We got a little bit, but not very much. I do have some apples which we can eat too, but let's just cook up whatever we can there. Um Okay, so let's see. Can I build Let's just build the two walls that we can build. And then we're going to have to go get some copper. That's just all there is to it, man. Oh, we can't even do that. We can only build one wall. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to finish these walls here before the airlock actually becomes active. All right, so we were going to also do this upgrade here. So let's do this before we take off. So we need a circuit board, a talonite, and a power cell. Uh, we need some chromium for that and some lithium and silver for that. Ooh, do I have lithium? Um, not seeing lithium. Yeah, we got we get to go get lithium too. <laughs> That's the way it goes, man. That's the way it goes. Okay, well, let's put all of our ingots away and we'll put all of our ores away. I'm not really too worried about trying to sort them right now. I'm just putting them in here oh we have lithium okay okay we have lithium um all right so let's go look at this again so it's the talonite that we're trying to make okay so the talonite requires a chromium we need the lithium for the power cell i did grab some chromium where is it molybdenum zinc silver 
chromium. Okay, so that lets us make the talonite. Uh, I also got a bunch of bu bunch of cobalt too. And then for the battery, we need some silver. We already have the lithium, so silver right there. Whoop. Oh, here comes some meteorites too, bringing us some more lithium. Yeah, let's make the. Or, or I should say power cell, not a battery. A battery is actually a different thing in the game. Yeah, those guys. We'll deliver. Oh, that one crashed into the pillar. We'll deliver uh, lithium. That one's going to go all the way out into the deep desert, probably. I have had these things land right on top of my base. It's just, it's crazy when it happens. Okay, so we got the power cell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Upgrade. And we have, no, we still need a circuit board. I do I have a circuit board? I think I do. Oh, look at that. We have three circuit boards. And I already had a power cell. Well, we'll need more. <laughs> okay, upgrade should be good to go. So let's do our upgrade. Awesome. All right, so what that means now, guys, is it opens up this other stuff, and we can make um, we can make the pistol, and we can make assault rifles, rounds, blaster cells, that sort of thing. But here's the thing. Even though... I have the crafting station to make the assault rifle. I still need Zergaloy, and we cannot get that until we go to the moon, which means we need a spaceship first, which means we need to make the laboratory first, which means we need to make the barracks first, which means you get the idea. <laughs> so we, we're still a ways off. We're still a ways off. Uh, we have a lot, lot more to do to get to that point, and it's fun, and we're enjoying it, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. Okay, so let's go back here. We'll grab these last two pieces of meat. I'm going to have to do something about my food situation. Probably just go do a whole bunch of hunting off camera or something like that. Uh, like I said, though, we do have apples. Where are those at? We've got 10 apples. Let's grab all of those. Um, you, Unless they've changed something, um, you can't grow the apples. Um, you can only grow the corn and the potatoes. Unless, here, like I said again, unless they've changed that uh, since the last time I looked into that. Okay, come on. That's so frustrating, that little bin issue that it does. Okay, let's get those in there. We're going to keep the apples. We're going to put the potatoes and the carrots in there. Okay, so what we need to do before we... Uh, no, I was going to say, maybe we should go fix the rover, but fixing the rover is one thing. Getting the fuel for it is an entirely different thing. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do off camera, just because I need to, um, but I'm going to show it to you so you see what the deal is. Is I'm going to go. I'm going to build myself a couple of tanks. So I'm going to go to utilities. I'm going to make a liquid tank so I can start consolidating all this extra water I have, and I'm going to make a gas tank so that I can start filling it up with hydrogen because we're going to need a lot of hydrogen. So I'll probably do those two things off of camera, um, or maybe on camera. It just depends on how our time goes. There's a bazillion million things to do, right? Bazillion million things to do. Okay, so I'm going to offload all my stuff and go in search of, we need copper. Well, we mostly need copper. We need some, we really do need some more lithium, so I might grab some of that, but I'm going to go grab copper. Uh, so let me put my stuff away, uh, run to where the copper is, and then I'll bring you guys back to that point so you can kind of see where it is, and we'll take a look at the fungal thicket whilst we're there. All right, guys, so this is the fungal thicket region. It's kind of funny because if you look at it on the map, it's actually called Fungus Humongous. <laughs> this is really funny. Um, let's get a little closer. So right down, I think, over here is where the copper is. And what we can also do is let's get our scanner on our toolbar here. We're going to go to F3. We're going to zoom uh, all the way out. We're going to go to copper, which is a high density. And all these little orange dots that you see here um, is the is the copper. So this is a smaller cluster of them. There's a much, like I said, a much larger one in the northwest of the map. Uh, but let's go get these. i to turn the light on. Oh, there's also an oxygen uh, vent here, too. Uh, and there's, there's, I think there, there's actually three oxygen vents in the fungal thicket altogether. But what we're after is this stuff. We need this copper. So let's go ahead and get this.
Okay, I think that is it for the copper. Is that copper over there? No, I th think that's just an outcrop. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check the map just to make sure that I got it all. So we want to go uh, to number four and press F3. Uh, oh, no, it looks like there's two more nodes. Uh, either that or it's just like little remnants that I left behind. Because it's showing right where we're standing. Uh, I don't see anything, though. Hmm. Sometimes you have to look really close because there could be just a little tiny piece of it still showing. Uh, I'm not seeing that one though. I really am and not. Let's uh let's go check this one. There's show, it's showing there's one over here too. Okay, that one is probably underneath the cactoid. Yeah, there's a little tiny piece of copper right underneath the cactoid, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get it. Because we can't get rid of the cactoid. Okay, well, good enough. Uh, so we got a total of, let's take a look, see here. Uh, we got a full stack and then five more. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, we said we need a lithium too, but lithium is kind of far from here. It's going to be to the northwest. Um, and you know what? Actually, the more I think about it, we, we did actually find that we had an extra power cell. So I don't think we need lithium right away. Uh, if we can find the, a couple of those asteroids, or not asteroids, meteorites that fell, uh, we could get some lithium from those too. So let's get on back to the ranch and keep on doing our stuff here. Okay, so we are back. And um, it was Zamok that we uh, needed to make. So let's see. What do we need for Zamok? Let's take a look at this. I'm going to turn my light on. Oh, I guess it was off. Was it? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, zinc, magnesium, aluminum, and copper. So let's see. There's zinc. Um, there's aluminum. There's magnesium. Uh. Okay, let's have some apples and a bandage. Okay, so we needed a total of 12 Zamok, or yeah, 12 Zamok, I think it was, and we put one wall up, so we need another 10. Okay, so while that's going on, let's get our wrench back on our toolbar here. And look at the ingredients again. So we need plastic and Durlumen on top of that. So Durlumen's right here, and plastic is here. And Mr. Krabs is right here. What? <laughs> Didn't quite get over there, did we? Now, I think we have enough to finish the airlock. And it's done. Okay, so moving forward now, in order to get into the base, we have to uh, depressurize or, or pressurize rather the airlock. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you, but it's kind of fun too. <laughs> so, all right, we have finished the habitat, you guys. Uh, we have to furnish it, of course, but we finished the actual building of the habitat, which is pretty 
pretty darn cool. The next structure that we need to work on is the barracks, uh, which is going to be our living quarters. Um, but we're not going to do that in this episode. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go start looking at furnishings. The, the number one most important thing we need to put in here is a fabricator because the fabricator... Well, we wait, we never even made the printer, did we? Did we? We didn't. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's um let's make that first because I'm trying to think. I think we need the printer to make the fabricator. I'm pretty sure that we do. And even if we don't, we need the printer regardless. So let's do that next. We must have got hung up on some resource we didn't have. I don't remember to be honest with you. Um but yeah, I think it was the making of the talonite that we needed. Okay, so here we go. Circuit board, rubber, and NICR. So let's get... Um, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to grab a little bit of everything like we did before. Um, because it's just going to make our life a little bit easier to do that. So let's grab some of that. You can see I'm starting to overflow uh, stuff, which is a pain in the neck. Okay, we, we only want one or of each thing though because uh, we don't have room to hang on to a bunch of other stuff that can go there we'll grab some mercury some gold what's this molybdenum molybdenum uh lead do we have lead we do now we have cobalt we got iron uh, what's this silver do we have silver yeah we have uh wait do we no we don't have silver and we're going to want some carbon and some gold, which we already have. We already have lead and some sulfur. Okay, so I think that's everything. All right, now, um, let me look at the ingredients again here. Utilities and printer. So we need NICR, which I believe we make here. Oh, we did not grab nickel. How could we have missed the nickel? I should have more. Yeah, I was going to say, I should have at least a full stack of that stuff. There we go. Okay. Now we're in business. Well, let's make the NICR. Okay. And then next, F2 utilities printer. Uh, we need to make some Electrum because we have all the other stuff so far. F2 utilities printer. We need to make a talonite. A talonite. There we go. Cobalt and chromium. And we should have everything we need to make our printer, which we're going to put right here. F2 utilities printer. And there it is. All right, so let's rotate it. Uh, no, we want it to go this way. Yeah, it'll fit nicely right there. We're just going to put it right smack dab in the center of this airlock. There we go. We got ourselves a printer. So in here we can make uh, you know, actual straight up wires, for example, and hoses and fuel cells and things like that. We do need to do the weapon fabrication upgrade, but that requires a battery. And guess what? We can't make a battery until we make the fabricator. So we're going to have to hold off on that. But once we make this upgrade, then we'll be able to make the bolt rifle. And more importantly, because we already have a bolt rifle, is the ammo for the bolt rifle. And then we're going to be in Fat City with the guns. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, so let's look and see what we got to do to make ourselves the all-important fabricator which is basically the printer's big brother okay so we'll go f2 we're going to go to appliances this time so stuff that you put inside of a habitat is appliances stuff you put outside are utilities that's just the way the game works uh, we're also going to build a bunch of storage in here too because uh, it's actually relatively cheap to make the storage and that's going to alleviate a lot of our storage issues but first i want to look at the fabricator so a fabricator is going to require Ferrochrome wire, demalloy, talonite glass, a cir two circuit boards, and an electrum. So let's, uh, oh, a little bit of lag action going. Let's work on the ferrochrome first. Do we do that in here? I can't remember. I think we have to do that in here. Uh, yeah, okay. So how much do we need? Two. So two ferrochromes. Okay. 
What's next? We need two wires. Okay, so we can't make any more wires from scrap, which means we need to make them in the printer, which means we can do it. Look at that. Copper, gold, and rubber. That's kind of what you would expect, right? To make a wire. Okay, so we got two wires. That gold thingamadoodle, I think, is an electrum. Uh, appliance fabricator. No, it's a dime alloy. I think we do that not in there, but in here. Look at that. Dime alloy. Silver and copper. Okay. Now we need two talonites. Those I recognize because of the kind of grayish, darkish gray color. And then we need a circuit board, and that last thing is an Electrum. So let's go here. I'm starting to, to lag. I think the game has like a memory leak because it after a while it starts to, to lag really bad. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know that for sure, but it's just, you know, if I... See, now it's fine, but a moment ago it was like really framey. Uh, so if, if it's... If it's fluctuating and not constant, it's probably not a memory leak. But see how all of a sudden it's just completely lagging out? It's probably a graphics issue. We have everything except for one circuit board. Do we have another circuit board in here? We do not. So we're going to have to... Hey, that's... This is what happened to me last time in Experimental. Here's the thing about the circuit boards. Um... Never mind. We're good. We have scrap circuit boards. What I was going to say was, in our experimental series, I ran out of scrap circuit boards, and I couldn't make another one to make the fabricator, because guess where you make circuit boards? In the fabricator. <laughs> so I had to go out and do a bunch more salvaging to get some more scrap circuit boards to finish it, but we don't have that problem here. We're in good shape. Okay, so to make circuit board, we need... Or we're going to have to make more wire now, but that's not a problem, because we need two brokens and one wire to make a hole. Uh, all right, now we have to go make another wire, which we can do... A beautiful thing and I think we have everything look at that everything to make the fabricator okay let's go on in here fabricator is an appliance so we have to make that inside the habitat hit F2 go to appliances hit fabricator and what are we missing oh we're, nothing I, hmm, that was weird I pressed the mouse button and it didn't seem to do anything ladies and gentlemen welcome to the fabricator it is good to have the fabricator okay so Fabricator also has upgrades. It's got a high-tech upgrade, which we can't do until we go to the moon and get zirconia. And it also has the suit augmentation upgrade, which is really cool because then we can actually make boosters and things for our suit to improve all kinds of things like carry weight and hovering and fall damage and, and those kinds of things. Um, we can also make better guns in here, too. Um, we can make batteries. So batteries are different than power cells, which we need for, uh, and we need to make one of these actually because we need it for the, the upgrades to the, uh, the printer. There's a charge rifle. I'm not a big fan of these. I mean, we might make one and try it out and see if it's better, but yeah, not, not a huge fan. The thing about the charge rifle is you have to charge it. You have to hold it down and it does a hell of a lot of damage once you release the bolt, but it's not it's almost more like a sniping weapon because it's not something you really can or want to use uh, in the heat of the moment, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's focus on making this battery. We need an Electrum and two power cells so that we can get our printer upgrade so that we can make our bolt ammo. Um, no, wait. Our printer upgrade or our forge upgrade? Yeah, our printer upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah, because this is the one we need the battery for. Okay, so we need a Talonite. Let's make that. We need two power cells. That's just the the storm. Giving us a, a little nip in the butt. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. I saw the red arrow behind me. Um. Oh, no, we're out of lithium, you guys. Son of a... Maybe I should have gone and grabbed some lithium. Crap. Ola. Um, all right. Well, you know what we can do? We had a couple of meteorites fall not too far from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Let's go look at this one more time. So we need another circuit board and some gunmetal. I have gunmetal in here. Uh, I have three gunmetals, in fact. Okay, so let's put this talonite in here. 
and uh, I'm going to have to drop off s some of this stuff so we're not, you, you know, we're, we're very encumbered right now. So let's just uh, get rid of some of this. And we're going to have to go find those meteorites, which we can do because they'll show up as a white dot on our on our scanner. Um, all right, so let's get our scanner out. Scanner, scanner, scanner. Get zoomed out there. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm like really framey right now. So one of those meteor, get out of here. One of those meteorites went down. Way ouch. Way down this way. Um. Did it go all the way into the deep desert? Did I zoom in or out? Yeah, there we go. So we're looking for a white dot. It went quite a ways out there didn't it? I haven't tested to see yet if the worms are back. Um, but if we go out there on foot, yeah, that's not an appetizing thought. Well, the worm will probably think it's an appetizing thought, but not me. See, the thing too is if one of those things triggers while we're trying to climb back up the hill, we're dead meat because you only have uh, you only have a couple of moments to, to get away from it. It's not, it's pretty damn fast. Okay, well, we better not go out there right now. We will go out there. We're just not quite equipped to do that yet. All right, we had another meteorite that landed up somewhere up this way. They should stick around for at least until you log out. They stick around for a very long time, so I know it hasn't despawned. It's just a matter of finding the damn thing. So let's go this way. Um... I don't think I have to... S oh. You know what? I wonder if having the scanner on, on on the copper was making it so we couldn't see him. I don't think so. Uranium is a... Seek medical assistance immediately. Leave me alone. Uh, is an ultra-dense. Okay, so let's keep it on ultra-dense, but not on uranium. Get out of here. Um, Not on ultra... What am I talking about? I'm like so totally confused now about what's going on here. We need to do this and do it quickly because we're about ready to die. Okay, let's get rid of this jerk. Oh, you know what? I should have repaired my, my scythe. It's a, getting kind of damaged. All right. Put our light back on. Okay, there we go. I see a bunch of white stuff, but... I think that's the gold, because gold is in the ultra-dense category. Yeah, let's just scooch up the hill here. If you're on a really, really steep hill, sometimes if you kind of zigzag a little bit, you can actually get up more quickly. All right, well, this isn't ha helping with the scanner because it's picking up all the other shit, too. And I, I, I guess I don't know how to set it specifically for a meteorite and maybe you can't i don't know if you guys know that in the comments uh, let me know if you would but the one you know that came down earlier i was i want to say it was somewhere around here sometimes you can see them because you know they're they're kind of bright green oh my goodness the lag what in the world I really would like to be able to, to make bolt rifle ammo so we can just shoot the hell out of everything and not worry about it anymore. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything down there that looks like a meteorite, so I'm probably going to have to just go mine the lithium, guys. Um, And, you know, like I said, that's way on the other side of the map. It's way on the western side of the map. But, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. All right, well, I guess we'll wrap up the episode here then. And so, let's see, off camera, I'm going to go get that lithium like I was uh, talking about. I'm going to, what else am I going to do off camera? I'm probably going to go do some hunting and just gather up a whole bunch of meat uh, because we need to do that. Um, Seek medical assistance damn. Immediately. I'm just trying to think what else I might need to do before I start the next episode. 
I kind of like to tell you guys what I'm going to do just because, especially since this is also sort of like a, you know, it's a half tutorial series. Uh, that way, you you know, you kind of keep the progression in mind and so forth. I don't want to do every single thing on camera because some of it's just playing too grindy, you know, to, to record. Um, so, yeah, well, okay, so for now, we're going to go get the, I'm going to go get the lithium that we need. I'm going to do a little bit of hunting to get, you know, our food situation in a, a little bit better state. And that's probably all I'm going to do before I bring you guys back. Um, because I think we can do this upgrade as soon as we get the lithium. Because we need the lithium to make the other power cell so that we can make the battery um, that the upgrade here requires. And then we can make bolt rifle ammo and then we're going to be in really good shape. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and any chance you get, bonk Mr. Krabs on the head because he is a royal pain in the butt. Guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.